model. Come on. Here we go, guys. Hi, this is Laura Craig at Texas Health Harris Bethesda's Fort Worth Hospital. You might know me from Nursing Congress or Vile of Life. Most people know me from a bedside nurse on SRP6. I'm here today to talk about our new professional practice model. I'm so excited about it. This was brought to us by a group of nurses for nurses. How exciting is that? Hi everyone, this is Laura again with Cynthia from Cardiac Rehab. Cynthia, can you tell us a little bit about the professional practice model? It's positive for our hospital. Thank you so much. I'm here with Brenda from the Cath Lab. Brenda, can you tell us what you think about our new model? I think it's engaging. That is great. Thank you so much, Brenda. I was so excited. <laughs> here we have Sally Carmen. Dr. Carmen, can you tell us a little bit about how we selected Dr. Joanne Duffy to be our carry theorist? Five of the um, education directors were represented. They came together and talked about looking at research and which ones seem to match what Texas Health Resources currently has. So we came down to two, and then we put together a survey with some information about the model, and we sent it out to all the direct care nurses. And they got to choose which of the two models they preferred. And overwhelmingly, it was Dr. Joanne Duffy. And I really think it was mainly because the quality care piece, um, Dr. Duffy really focused so much on how nurses make a difference in outcomes, and how we can measure the caring part of what nursing does. We here at Fort Worth are caring, and this just fits perfectly with our model of care. Thank you so much. I'm here today with Brenda Ho, an RN from SRP6. Can you tell us a little bit about professional development? Yes, I sat on the NCAP committee here at Harris, and um, in that opportunity, we have for all of our nurses to level from level one to level five, and it's specifically for our bedside nurses, so that as they continue to give the patient care, they can also um, develop in their own career. And we have a committee that meets and goes over the portfolios and we also serve as mentors and helpers to get our nurses into those levels. We even have a wheel here at Fort Worth. Come tell us a little bit about the professional practice model and you can win a prize. We're talking about professional model. practice model. Candace, tell us what you think. Amazing. Yay! Thank you, Candace. Oh, I have the great Anna. Anna, can you tell us a little bit about shared decision making? Well, Laura, I want to tell you that here at Texas Health Fort Worth, we have a lot of committees where we all share ideas, try to get our nurses to come up with innovative things. So we are very active here at Texas Health Fort Worth. You don't now have Jessica Mark Rangel. Tell us a little bit how you feel about the nursing professional practice model. I have Selena Cook here with me, who is also a bedside nurse. Selena, can you tell me a little bit about how you demonstrate teamwork? If it wasn't for our PCTs and the, the respiratory therapist and the uh, physical therapist and the whole entire group of uh, healthcare staff, um, we would not be able to provide the excellent care that we provide for our patients. And of course, our patients are the most important thing that we have. They're at the very center of our care. Thanks for being a team player today. Thank you. Sure. Alright, well, this is Lisa with SRPC. Lisa, can you give us one word on describing the professional practice model here at Fort Worth? All encompassing. I have Paul, who is the ER manager. Paul, can you let us know a little bit about the professional practice model? It is uh, very collaborative. Thank you so much. Okay, we have Elaine, our CNO, here to talk about our professional practice model. Elaine, just tell us a little bit about how you feel about our model here at Fort Worth. I'm so excited that we're moving to this new professional practice model. It really ties in the entire concept of the THR mission and vision along with our shared governance practice model so that we meet our values of rice which includes respect, integrity, compassion and excellence and then it ties in the professional development that we are always focusing on with our nursing staff, our shared decision making which is part of our model for our professional practice, quality caring which is our nursing model and then finally but most probably importantly teamwork. So by bringing all of these things together in this model, we are going to show everyone that THR is the place to be if you are a nurse. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. Can you give us one word about the like professional practice model here at Fort Worth? Goody! Yeah. Stupendous. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. How exciting. We have Dr. Paula Spears here with us. Dr. Spears, can you give us one word on what you think about the nursing professional practice model? Information awesome. Yay! Thank you so much. We even have peppermints here.
I want to just emphasize one thing that we really talked about whenever we developed this model. The model is based on our hands and our heart, which is the bedside nurse. That's what we use every single day to take care of our patients. So if you notice, you can see the heart and then our hands. We're always going to take care of our patients here at Texas Health Care's Methodist Network. Thank you.